Oh like, yeah, so we didn't get to tell you about this. We have uh, our uh, our medium of how we're going to produce our shortisms. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Well, would it? It wouldn't be a podcast, would it? Because no, it would this just is be like be a, a do it and die video. Like it's gonna be very short. Like we have to have like it's like a series six though, right? or seven of them done in like so it's uh so like here, a picture dramatic. this picture this right now look at me picture. while I'm looking at you while you're listening to Paul while looking also at Scotty and he's mm-hmm. on the other side of the room so you gotta look at us both got to do like a chameleon look so Paul sitting in a regal position with a book in front of him a mic headphones he's wearing a black turtleneck it's an epic light just shining straight down like on him. A harsh, harsh, harsh light. So you yeah. can't see anything else. It's just him in this room. And he uses subtle pauses Yo, I can... for dramatic effect. Mm-hmm. And read us a read us a shortism, for example. Oh yeah. Um not ready. Oh my god. I, I think I lose I think I did all my shortism. <laughs> I've last got a podcast. shortism for you. He, oh, uh, uh, the, uh, oh, 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 oh. Um, sick of losing weight will help you find it. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> the, 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 every single, every single <laughs> shortism, it's got to be like fading into another camera angle. So it's moved oh, to another camera like angle. It. And then you look and at I the camera. And I turn at the there. new yeah. angle, like wherever it may be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's our shortism's uh, idea. It's a connective tissue because it's going to be an ongoing one. Yeah. Yeah. And so we'd, we'd get like maybe five or six so that we can like make it a more than once a Think year Think about this thing. Why what? do people say nailed it instead of screwed it? Ooh, that's it. That's, that's a, a shortism. Wow, Ooh, you I got nailed it right off. You the top actually, of the head. you just you screwed, screwed the it. shit out of that. <laughs> you screwed it, <laughs> <laughs> or even bolted it. Ooh. Ooh. Did you guys hear about the new um, cookie flavored lube called Slutter Butter? <laughs> um, yes, I I like to spread it <laughs> all over myself. <laughs> Oh God! They <laughs> couldn't name it slut or butter. They're like, well, it's gonna be slut or butter. So we'll. <laughs> and then they just like combined it. They're like, I don't know. <laughs> oh God! There's a. I have this uh, sketch, and I'm. I am uh, gonna pitch it uh, once I find it. Evan, why don't you uh, take? I got take one. It? Oh, I, I, found got, it. I found oh, it. I found it. Okay. I give up. Yo, yo, yo! It's gonna be. I'll. I'll change this. Uh, so. If y'all can't see my hair listening mm. to this podcast, it's getting kind of kind of a uh, long. Like it's very where John I, I can Snow. suck on my hair now. Do it, <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, I see it. It's in his mouth. For those listening, yeah. oh, it's, it's straight there. up. It's in there, and that's like a bang that's in his mouth, not mm. like anywhere else. Yeah. So it was just this idea that uh, you know it fades fades up into my hair over my face like this, just like like. Uh, cousin it from uh adam's family mm-hmm. like that that dude and then um is that his name yeah or, okay or was it was pretty uh insensitive that clown that, that cousin that pennywise has got a clown right and then that would be cousin it yeah cousin it okay anyway cousin so it. <laughs> so like it reveals my hair you know over my face like a curtain and then evan is just kind of sitting there awkwardly and he says like paul are you are you ever gonna get a haircut <laughs> and then I sort of like part <laughs> part my hair like a curtain. I'm like, yo, not sure. Don't know. My barber died like eight months ago. Evan's like, you haven't gotten to another barber yet? Nah, man. Every time, every place I go, they just bug me. You know, they're always like, sir, how do you like your hair styled? Or sit still, you psychopath. I'm holding a straight razor to your neck. Or that'll be $20. Like, I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. <laughs> And that's the only start I have to it. Oh my gosh. But just to do like, it would be part of like the do it and die canon where my hair is long and we just acknowledge it. And is it going to like escalate? It's like, Paul, dude, are know. you ever going to like take a shower? Are you ever going to wash that butthole of yours, dude? And he's well, like, this is dude, my butthole I don't want to like, too. my shower rinsed my body like eight months ago <laughs> and like it was like warm, but I had to like find the right temperature. Mm-hmm. And I don't need that in my life. It's <laughs> like, listen, my cat has not once wiped her butthole and she is happy as can be. <laughs> I'm gonna take some notes from her. <laughs> and I don't need to, I don't need that sh- that shit in my life. <laughs> I just need that shit on my butt. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's over. Oh, it's oh over. God. Oh God. You got you got anything else? Yeah, one show. more. I okay. got one more. Hit us. Hit I us. Got one. So um, I think I'm just gonna leave my hair like this. This one, it's uh, so me and Paul were uh, in Lowe's looking for a light. No Home Depot. Home of Depot. Home of Depot. And mm. we we're like, hey, this is what you always have to do when looking for a light, except for when it's not what you have to do. <laughs> so it encompasses everything. So it's like, hey, every time you tie your shoe, you have to do this. It's the rule, except for when it's not. Yo, how we got to pitch that better? What what was that? I can't remember exactly oh, what was it. the situation. Um, yeah, I think it was because like, oh, you got to get it incandescent because that's always hot. Unless uh, you get an LED, then you know it's not an incandescent. <laughs> well, what was it? I can't remember Fuck. exactly what it was. Oh, we but just ruined there's it. A, this one. I want to bring it to the table. If there's anyone's got any ideas with it, because I feel oh, like there's God something there. We had something. We well, the actual idea was was funny. See, we just not, it went to the note hole. God note hole. It fell through note the note hole. hole. That's why I'm, gonna, I'm getting this hole. little recorder that I can carry, and it it'll so I can verbally <laughs> dictate Explain. my ideas because the note hole has got to stop because this sucks. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's not. It's like I remember this happening, and yeah. it was funny. And it was earlier today. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, well, fail. You know, Scotty. Hmm. Okay, so Scotty. Uh, you want it's me all to, up to here, you, Scotty. Gonna, okay, Save so anything. I've got a shortism. I'm going to start yeah. with a shortism, and then I'm going to continue with a longism. Okay. <laughs> um. So my st- my shortism is: Is anybody else dre- dreading the day when it's no longer acceptable to call people daddy as a form of social dominance? That's my shortism. <laughs> <laughs> but just like imagine someone asking that, and everyone's like, like, you're just like in a bar, and like, is anybody else dreading that? And everyone's like. Like dreading huh? it because they love it. The, yeah, they're dreading it. They're like, they're like it's like it's ca- it's like a source of existential fear. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but like, imagine like you're daddy. Just like, you need to calm down. <laughs> yeah, like just someone make it too much the norm. It's <laughs> yeah. too norm. I don't like yeah, it. Like, like I imagine, need this social dominance. <laughs> there's some guy like walking up and he's like edging in on your girl, and you're like, excuse me, daddy. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> just some weird. Uh, anyway. So that's oh my, my first idea. My <laughs> second one um, <laughs> is was um, it was come up with literally as I was entering the door to this meeting. Also, this is part two episode. This is episode was part another. We shot the last episode today too. Um, so I don't remember spoiling our or was that last week our technique. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. so. For my other joke, um, there it's someone's like, "Hey, uh, can we get like a like?" They're they're like, "Hey, we need to get a." There's been, hold on, okay. So, <laughs> oh Jesus, <laughs> rewind. No, rewind. No, it it's gone up in flames <laughs> already. Okay, so <laughs> they're like, uh, one person, two people are in a room, <laughs> and one person says. Hey, uh, there's been a lot of break-ins lately. Uh, do you want to get like maybe like a dog or something to uh, guard the house? And the other person's like, Yeah, I don't know. I'll see what they got at the pound. And they're like, Okay, cool. Like, and see if you can get like a Doberman or something. I'm like a Doberman. Okay, I'll see what I can do. And then they cut like it's like the next day. The person walks in and they're holding a leash and they're like, Oh yeah, I got that Doberman you wanted. And they're like wait what oh, and they god. look and it's this really high guy and he's oh, like god. i'm a doper man and oh, then like it's god. like just a junkie <laughs> yeah the rest of the the skit is just a man pretending to be a dog but, but he's while actually a big really high <laughs> anyway oh, no that's it that's all i got <laughs> oh god it's pretty funny in my head <laughs> <laughs> there's something there's something <laughs> I'll I'll think about it. I'll think yeah, about it. We can just like, put that in the note hole because that's where it belongs. It's already it's already sank. It's already sank in there. But it's, it's gone. I have it's gone. I have this. Uh, you know, like good restaurants, like really good restaurants, will get those Michelin stars. Yeah. And there are real people whose job it is to give those Michelin stars. That sounds like mm. a dope job. Yeah, like the best job ever, right? Yeah. So this Evanism is Michelin Evan. And he's a food critic, but he he got into it. You know, it was like nepotism in the Michelin community, and his dad is Mister Michelin himself, or whatever Michelin, that, whatever his name is. And uh, so, so he got he got the gig right, and 
and he goes everywhere or, or he gets served these like beautiful dishes and he's like he eats this like fish thing he's like um this is okay but i wish it was a bit more chocolatey <laughs> and then they're like oh okay and he's like we can make you a new one do you want to do you want a new one yeah yes please just make it more chocolatey and then they bring out another one <laughs> and then he's like yo instead of like poaching this fish like he, he actually kind of knows some terminology he's like instead of poaching this fish maybe you should just take the fish out but make it more chocolatey and they're like oh okay and then <laughs> and then they come back and he's like you know what this is almost good i think you should add some peanut butter <laughs> and, and, and then they're like oh okay so we, should we make you another one yes please if you want that star <laughs> and then <laughs> and then, then they like go back in and it basically comes down to they have to make him a peanut butter cup because that's what he wants to fucking eat <laughs> like he, he just wants to eat a goddamn peanut butter cup so he's like he's, ordering. <laughs> he's just like turning it into what he wants to eat that day <laughs> he's like God. abusing his power he's got like a Reese's and then he's like Some gourmet Ooh. Reese's peanut yeah. uh, would you Genius. actually <laughs> remove the fish, add the peanut butter, <laughs> add the chocolate, and put it into like an orange packaging, <laughs> an orange packaging, and like a, in like a cup? <laughs> cup Sir, capacity. are you wanting a Reese's pizza? No, I want this fish dish, more chocolatey, <laughs> less more peanut buttery, less fish <laughs> in a cup in an orange package. They br- <laughs> then then they bring they bring it out to like, sir, we we slaved over this, and it's just mm-hmm. Reese's. And he eats it. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> Y'all nailed it. <laughs> what if he's like, yeah, but now I'm not exactly sure this is that fish I want. <laughs> like, I wish I could I could go for something a little more savory. Do you got, got some halibut? <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of it being this guy's son, like Mitch, like Mitch Michelin sends his son in, and like the kid's like, ah, oh, I hate this, <laughs> and so that's why he just doesn't. Yeah, it's like he's just this spoiled kid. It's like <laughs> yeah. just trying his best, just learning the ways of the trade. I'm about this. I'm about this. <laughs> so I know there's there's a lot of s- sketches I end up thinking of that I've always wanted to do where we green screen ourselves in the movie. That's where part of where the Hamilton Eight Mile came in. Yeah, where I want to put me in Eight Mile as Hamilton, and I had this other one where I want to put Lord Voldemort into the movie Whiplash. And we'll give him a little maestro <laughs> stick that is his wand, and oh and every time he's like, "Yeah, not my tempo." About a cadaver, <laughs> not quite my tempo. Sectum sempra, <laughs> and 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 then there's uh, yeah, like like rushing. I I typed rushing or dragging results in an unforgivable curse. Like like we could just have those kids because those kids look terrified. So we have like the the thing of Voldemort being like, mm, "Were you fast? Was that one twenty BPM or one twenty five? Hmm." Let me know what is it? 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 They're like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like that kind of stuff. Oh, and oh uh, yeah, and then there was a, a side thought to that. There's I don't know if you've guys seen American Psycho, where no. that scene where Patrick Bateman is in that meeting and everyone has their business cards, uh-huh. and it's it's like a really you know elegant. It's like a big society thing where they're like, this is crushed, embossed, twelve point font super business card or whatever and it's it's a way of like bragging to the other guys yeah and stuff but i was thinking we could like side note do either like an after the credit scene with it where it's all of these um uh wizards talking about their wands and they're like yo nine inches unicorn hair it killed the boy who lived or you know, <laughs> whatever, like all, like all that shit. And they're just like talking shit about their, oh, their wands, like, so like bragging about it. Oh, that's good. This one is a 12 incher <laughs> made out of uh, ivory mm-hmm. and adamantium with <laughs> a small thing of phoenix feather. Exactly. Uh, the wand chooses the wizard, uh, not the wizard chooses the wand, Harry. And like Harry's just like, oh, like, oh wow. they're just making fun of his shitty wand. Like three inches. <laughs> yeah. And then he measures it with his iPhone. No, it's 12 inches. <laughs> yeah, that fake that fake news measurement app. <laughs> what? Uh. There's there's like the new iOS thing that you can use your camera and it'll guess what the, what the like height is, like the measurement is. Yeah. So like if you... 
move your phone around, it'll like get the surroundings and it'll be like, yo, that door is eight feet tall or whatever. And it's always wrong. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Awful. I actually have an idea. So where's the, there's a contractor. He's like, oh, this is the coolest app ever. I can get rid of all of my tape measures. <laughs> so he throws out all of his tape measures and he starts doing that. And he puts an order for his supplies. And like, I need my blueprints built exactly like this. <laughs> Trust me, all the measurements are exact. And then I he use comes the new in there. iPhone on it. <laughs> it's literally just like the most disgruntled looking object you've oh, ever warpy. seen in your life. <laughs> looks like one of those like circus mirrors that just like. <laughs> and then like, he's like uh, measuring it up and he's like, yeah, it looks about right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he yes. uses the app and he justifies it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, perfect. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's a rocking horse, can't you tell? <laughs> oh, God, it looks all ugly and warped. <laughs> I have this, I guess it's a, a sketch, but it's like, a, this is, comes from an idea that my friend Jesse had where he, like, as soon as Periscope came out, mm-hmm. he was like, yo, I want to make Periscope for pooping, and that's it. <laughs> you can't use it unless you're pooping. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, like, I want to make basically like an infomercial for that, and it's mm-hmm. called Poo Time. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's like, yo, are you tired of wasting your time on the toilet? Like, do you feel more distant from your friends than ever before? Introducing the first exclusively bathroom social media. And it's like Poo Time <laughs> oh is God. the gold standard of video chat while <laughs> taking a poo. And the very, par- the very best part is, your friends don't have to uh, be pooping for them to join in on the fun with this new update. <laughs> and then it's like, give them a poo time <laughs> trademark call when they're, when they're at work, out with <laughs> friends, or literally wherever they might be. And it's like, at work, and then like, the, <laughs> Evan's at like a, yeah, yeah, Evan's at like his cubicle, and he's like, oh, hi, and he like waves to him. And then there's one where they're out like at a bar, <laughs> and then you know, they answer it and they see him like, hi. And they're like, look, look, Ashley's here. There's, there's Kevin. And he's like showing it around and like, and everyone's like, yo, what's up? What's up? Like, it's like, it's normal to do. <laughs> and then, oh, God. and then, yeah. And then I wanted to be like at a wedding, like, like the dudes in a, in a wedding party <laughs> are there like right before and like right before he's about to get married or whatever. He checks his phone. He's like, he's like, dude, congratulations. He's like, yo, thank you, man. I'm so glad you could be here. I do. <laughs> <laughs> as the guys watching him and then and this is also this is something i wanted to be like uh, i don't know how to the uh, segue it but basically like if they have a dumb phone it, like whoever has a dumb phone these days but like or like if flip phone? or if you don't want to use yeah like if you don't want to use your data yeah there's also a way you could poo time and what you do is after you poop you look at your poop and then you emojify it or emoticon it. Yeah. Like you're like, oh, that's a period, a comma, <laughs> <laughs> a lowercase L and a lowercase P. Yeah, and, and it looks like you, you like you type it out so it looks like it is, and then you just mass send it out to all your friends. <laughs> and they all get that notification of what your poop looked like. And you're like, Oh, cool. He Scotty must have had, you know, last call last night because he's got period, 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 colon, 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 <laughs> semicolon. <laughs> <laughs> like yo dope ugly <laughs> you know oh uh, you God. could just be like uh oh and this works if you don't have a smartphone too and it's just some grandpa like opening a flip phone like. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then he's like margaret <laughs> and he's like you checked the poo time today it was dope <laughs> you know what's really oh, interesting God. about that is um when i first got snapchat i was i you you know you use your phone on the toilet what and uh some people do. What? It's why? Why would you do that? Yeah, what, uh, what, for the similar reason as poo time, but <laughs> uh, and so I would like take this like fiery dump, and I'd that be shit like, was fire. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be snapping my pals, and I'd be like, you know what? I think they need to see what I've been up to. <laughs> and hey like, guys, I'm still people, alive. I got to the point where people were like unfriending me because I was sending too many shit snaps. <laughs> Yo. Instead of dick pics, you said a shit pics. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Yeah, me and Brett had a good three years of our lives where we only did that. And we we quickly learned like you cannot open snaps from Brett in public or anywhere near public. <laughs> <laughs> oh Honestly, God. though, you can make a whole sketch of just people sending shit snaps to each other. Shit pics. <laughs> oh, shit pics. Oh my God. Uh, and like, That's it's like, it's the ladies. one thing that like girls are like, yeah, I'm sick of the dick pics. I'm about the shit pics. <laughs> 
<laughs> a man who can take a good shit. That's what I'm about. But wouldn't that be funny if there was if there was if there was <laughs> if, there, if, there, if there was a dating site where you only matched based on the poops? Like you're like, no, nah, that looks unhealthy. I don't want to do it. And then when you match, you're like, yo, your poops look like mine. <laughs> well, we're like, very our diet compatible. Is probably Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's God. Oh, what Christ? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> and then there's like there's like a pee oriented one called like sh- oh my god showers. The, the title <laughs> of the app is Love Stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys made a brilliant idea right now. Screw podcasting. So fuck making videos. Let's go into web design. We're going into yeah. We're going to uh, app development, <laughs> and we're gonna. We're gonna do an <laughs> IPO of this business. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna we're gonna be a huge competitor. Love stinks. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> I like it. Yeah. Okay, I think I have one more for oh. us. I mean, okay. I might as well just get. Yeah, go for it. All on it. I don't. This isn't a sketch. This is just something I thought of. Like, it would be interesting if there was. I call it you purgatory, and whenever you get like convicted of a crime or, or or like I don't know when this would happen but basically everyone in the world instantly gets sentenced to living like a whole week and it, it's in this alternate dimension where every other person acts like how you would act oh so like if you're a person that texts in a movie theater yeah. or you know like, like poops their really. pants in, the, in a in a movie theater or or, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> if you're one of those hey, people, you've been sentenced to us. Yeah, poopy movie <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, like you go to that theater and every single person in the seat is like, <laughs> like texting and they have the the notification that flashes on their phone. Yeah. Like people are psychopaths who have that on, but it would be every Blind single person people. and they would poop their pants or whatever they would do, <laughs> and it would just like you'd be like, oh. I'm kind of an asshole. <laughs> or and it would be all these bad drivers, you know, if you don't use your blinker. Yeah. No one use no one uses a blinker and it's just a, a, a chaos filled <laughs> yeah. everything. Like you've like, caused yeah. this and it's like yeah. the best reform system there actually is. Yeah. What if not only that, it's like everyone has to join this together, so it's getting worse and worse. Like the day one, it's like a few people like have to deal with some shitty stuff. But like day three, it's like every shitty person in the world has combined in this one like glitch there's this <laughs> one awful universe <laughs> yeah. of just the worst it's people like everyone oh god but yeah like everyone there's... who chews with their mouth are open, we living like, super uh-huh. loud <laughs> mm-hmm. there was this lady oh i was heartbroken i wanted i i go to i go to this store called noble to buy used blu-rays and stuff because i'm no you know rich man yeah and they had deadpool 2 on steelbook for five bucks what that's a steal that's like a really good and, steal and and i was gonna get it and the thing was, this kid, this little kid walks in and he was like, yo, I have these magic cards. I want to get appraised for selling. And he's like, oh, okay. And there's only one guy because this, I don't know why there was only one guy working there. And so it took him like, he was appraising these cards and it took him so long. So I was like, you know what, Andy, I was with my friend Andy. I'm like, let's just go to eat. We'll come back and then I'll buy it because like, I'm not about to wait for this kid to get his cards appraised. And then we come back and I was like, I was fully willing for it to be completely gone and sold Yeah. when I came back. But um, I walked in and it was still there. I'm like, oh, cool. And then there was this lady, this like mouth breather there that was like looking at all the movies. And I was like, watch, watch this girl be the one who takes Deadpool 2. And then like I'm watching her hand like <laughs> like – <laughs> brush against all the movies as she's reading them and then and i'm like oh god don't, don't do it don't do it and then she skips it and then she squats and then her daughter comes around the corner and and then she stands right next to him and i'm like i can't just reach my hand over Excuse them me. while i'm doing it like i just i can't i don't have that in me yeah. and then her daughter's like mom deadpool too oh, and she no. grabs it and she's like oh <gasps> only five bucks no <laughs> that's awesome oh, and no. then she fucking took it oh. and it's like it was so much more brutal for me to like witness Have it being ripped that. from my hands yeah, like, than no, for it no. to just be gone i'm like ah oh, yeah it was a good deal like i, I should have got it later but like for me to watch it being ripped Happened. from me oh my oh, god killed me that's like, you know what? so sick my that heart's, heart's broken yeah this is not a funny oh. podcast yeah um, i think i just get depressed yeah oh i think i'm i think i'm out what if we do? All right, let's just finish it up. 
one sad story from everyone. Oh God. Um, I'm a- so uh, I'm I'm already sad it out. Oh, you pretty God. sad it out. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good sad one. I oh, think God. okay, just tell a happy story, but then switch happy to sad. Okay, uh, so there's some <laughs> boy and his mom, and he's like, "Mom, you're the best," and she's like, y- "You, I hate you." Are <laughs> and then she just has a heart attack, oh, and he's like, "What am I?" And that's the end of the story. Oh no. Did this happen to you yesterday? Is this why this is fresh in your memory? This isn't a real story. I know. <laughs> but isn't it kind of sad? <laughs> Yo, I noticed this is, I guess, is, I don't know why I typed this down for me to tell the public. <laughs> um, I noticed it's, something about myself. I love the title for, of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> It's called Bathroom Biz. And I was like, I, it's just something about myself. I noticed that if I'm around people and I'm going to go to the bathroom, I'll say, if, if I have to pee, I'll just be like, yo, I'm, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then I go pee. Yeah. But then if I have to poop, I'll <laughs> always say, I have to go to the bathroom real quick. Real because, quick. Because you quick. add the yeah. real quick so yeah. that they don't think you're pooping. Ooh, actually. But it's only, it's exclusively poop when I say uh-huh. real quick. Like, yeah. oh, oh, real quick. Real quick. <laughs> you know what's really funny is on film sets, I always say 10-1 even if I know it's a 10-2. And then if I, I'm not like, you know what? I'll be like, hey, I guess I was in a 10-1 and it just, I just decided that a ten two would work, or like as like ten two or I, ten poo. Yeah, I just take it really, really fast so that they think it might have been just a long ten one. Ten one is pee, and ten one is poo. If you don't know this, no, do you have to have you have code for the sunset? <laughs> yes, you say ten one if you got a pee, and they're like, oh, he'll be back in a minute. Or you say ten two, and they're like, all right, this guy is a real asshole on this <laughs> set, and no one likes him. Does it come from like I'm gonna take a ten minute break once? Or a ten minute break twice. Ooh, for poop. that's a good question. I <laughs> know ten more. Like, like ten go take four, a ten. Uh, that's that's a, a shit pee and <laughs> pee twice. It's a shit pee and puke. <laughs> <laughs> and you uh you you, you bark. All right, uh, uh, folks, we'll we'll catch you later. Um, take a big ten two for us. You're, you're beautiful. I love and, you. Uh, we'll see you next Mwah. week. <laughs>